this demonstration we're going to look at installing Exchange Server 2013. So in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is actually prepare Active Directory. So I need to prepare the schema to accept all the attributes for Exchange 2013. I also need to prepare the domains to accept the Exchange servers. So the first thing to do is actually prepare our Active Directory. So what we're going to do here is do a dot backslash setup dot exe dot forward slash prepare ad space forward slash I accept exchange server license terms space forward slash organization name call on the datum and what this is going to do is this is going to run from my mounted media so we'll hit enter and then what we'll do is we'll just allow it to run through the wizard so what it's going to do here it's just actually going to now start preparing our active directory domain Now this isn't very exciting to watch, so what we'll do at this point here is we'll just leave this running and return back once the actual install and the preparation of the Active Directory domain and Active Directory schema is complete. Now we can see it's now actually into the organization preparation, so what we'll do is we'll leave this again and just allow it to complete. As the organization has now been completed, so we've prepared the schema and we've also prepared the Active Directory domain. So the next thing to do is actually install Exchange Server 2013. So what I'll do is I'll just move over to my Exchange Server. And now on my Exchange Server, what I'm going to do here is just install all of the additional features required for Exchange Server to run. So to do that, I'll just come down to my PowerShell commandlet here. I'll just actually come to my C drive, and on my C drive, what Microsoft very kindly done for me is just provided me a little text file here and on this text file what we have is we have a little PowerShell script here that's going to install all of the additional features required to actually run Exchange Server 2013 so if I scroll this along as you can see there are quite a few of them so what we'll do is we'll just highlight the entire line we'll just copy that and what we'll do is we'll paste that back into our PowerShell commandlet now we've done that we'll just hit the enter key now this is going to go away and actually install these features. Once these features are installed, I'll need to do a reboot. So what we'll do at this point is just pause the demonstration just while we're waiting for these features to be installed. Right, so the next thing to do is just give our server restart. So we'll just give it a restart now. So in the settings, just click on power and just click restart. And the reason why we're restarting it is we're just doing an operating system reconfiguration. It's actually planned, so let's go with planned and just continue. So this will now reboot. And what it's going to do now, it's going to install all of these Windows features. So again, we won't sit and watch this. We'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the reboot is completed. Right, my Exchange server is now rebooted. Now what I could have done as part of the installation of Exchange 2013, I could have installed those features, but I just decided to do it manually through PowerShell just to uh, save one of the reboots. So next thing we'll do here is just come to our D drive. On our D drive now, all we'll do here is just run setup.exe. And then what we'll do is we'll run through the wizard to install Exchange Server 2013. I don't have an internet connection on my lab environment here, so what we'll do here is we won't check for updates just right now and select next. It's now going to go away and copy the files, so rather than watch it copy the files, we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the files are copied. Right, the files are copied, so we'll just select next. And what we'll do here is we'll accept the terms and agreements after we've just read through them. Now we've done that, we'll select next. What we'll do at this point here is we're just going to go here and actually go for recommended settings and select next. And we want to install both roles, so we'll go for the mailbox server role and the client access server role. And what we'll do here is then select next. Right, yep, we'll go with the default location for the Exchange server files and select next. What we'll do at this point here is we will install the malware, so what we'll do at this point here is we won't disable the malware scanning, so we'll just select next. Now what it's going to do, it's just going to go away and configure all the prerequisites. Now this will take a little while, so again what we'll do is pause the demonstration at this point and return back once this is complete. Now we're sitting now at 100%, so let's just there uh, install Exchange Server 2013. As we can see, this is going to go through a few steps to actually install Exchange. So again, rather than watch it's a blue ball moving across the screen, what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once Exchange has been installed.
Right, so as we can see, the installation is now complete, so finished successfully. Now all I need to do is actually reboot the computer. So we'll select the finish button. Next thing to do is we'll just give it a reboot. And this is because we've done some operating system reconfiguration or shall we go for application installation. We'll then select continue. Let this reboot. When it boots up, like we said, Exchange 2013 is now installed. And that's the end of this demonstration of installing Exchange Server 2013. Now start to finish, this has taken about 40 minutes. Thank you.